Hello everyone, have a seat, get comfortable, grab your favorite drink. I'm about to tell you the five best changes that I have made for my health. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Megs. And if you watched my video that I uploaded last week, which if you haven't, you should, I talked all about things that life is too short for. Now that I have gone through something traumatic in life, I realized that there are some things that are not worth stressing over and other things that we should value instead. So if you wanna know my top eight things that life is too short for, please watch the video. But one of the things that I did touch on in that video is that life is too short not to grow and not to evolve. Now, if you've also been following me on Instagram and on YouTube here, you'll know that I'm on this like quote unquote health grind. And I've really been trying to grow and evolve in like my healthy lifestyle and learning what my body needs and what I need to do in order to live a healthier life. Now, something that I realized is that it's honestly the smaller things that make all the difference. Yes, you can make big drastic changes in your life. And yes, you'll make big drastic changes for your health. But I've honestly realized that doing a bunch of little things has really made all the difference for me. So in this video, I'm going to show you the five little changes that I have made that have had the best impact on my health. Number one is a little bit of a two-parter. It's to make a plan and write everything down. I am the queen of to-do lists. I love writing things down. In my little home office, I literally have notepads everywhere and there's just like to-do lists everywhere. I love it. I love writing things down and for a number of reasons, but I always have three to-do lists on the go. One is things that need to get done that day. So it's like a to-do today list, where it's just things that really just need to get done before the end of the day and like my more immediate things. Next, I have a list for the week. So things that aren't like immediate, but things that should get done by the end of the week. And then I have like my long kind of general to-do list. You know, like that one that everyone has. And it's like one day eventually I should get around to doing these things. Well, I still like to have that list and still like to write things down because it's super important to write things down. Now, I'm not saying you have to write it down on a piece of paper. I'm just a little bit old school. You can also do it on your notes folder, on your phone, on your laptop. You can even do a voice recording if that's what's going to help you out. But the reason why you do want to write things down is because A, it frees up precious real estate in your mind. So you're not constantly worried. B, you're not going to forget things. So you don't always have to think, oh my goodness, what was it that I had to do? Or I can't remember. You get stressed out. You get frustrated. You even get stressed out by the idea that you have to remember that you have to remember something. You even get stressed out that you have to remember something. Number three is that by writing things down and already thinking about things that you have to do, you automatically think of other things that you have to do. You're always in that headspace of like, okay, hey, what do I need to get done? And more ideas kind of just pop into your head. And number four, it is so satisfying to cross something off of a list. I love that feeling and it is oh so satisfying. So make sure that you're writing everything down. Now, another thing that I always make sure to include in all my to-do lists is actually number two, which is self-care. I cannot stress to you guys the difference that self-care has made for my emotional and physical well-being. I never really used to take the time for myself. I never saw it as something of value. I always thought that it was just something that you did when you had a little bit of extra time or when you really had nothing else that you should be doing that is when you did self-care and wow was i ever wrong now self-care is something that is honestly at the top of my priority list and as i said has made all the difference now for me it's really small things for self-care i'm not talking about a spa day i'm not talking about a day off i'm not even talking about a night off even though those are good things to do for me it's honestly taking a walk outside having the sun just shine on my face feeling the warmth of the sun a little bath or a shower hair mask Sitting down and watching a YouTube video, honestly, even that I consider self-care because it's just like a few minutes where I get to just not think about anything and enjoy some entertainment. And if you follow me on Instagram, you'll definitely have seen on my stories that I love doing face masks. Face masks are definitely my number one at the moment for self-care. I made a story on Instagram the other day, something along the lines of like, if you're feeling bleh, do a face mask and you'll feel better on the inside and on the outside, which is true because your skin's gonna be refreshed and then just by knowing that you did something nice for your skin and that your skin's gonna look a little bit better, your mind automatically feels better. 
And I did want to just share with you guys the mask that I have been using lately because it is like the perfect mask for busy people. It feels like it's working. Like, you know, when you want something to feel like it's working and it just feels like nothing and you're like, is this even worth it? This mask feels like it's working. Anyways, it is the Detox Mask Green Tea Blend Matcha Lemongrass Clay Mask. So this is by the brand Teamy Blend and this I have been using for the last few months. And the reason why I say it's like the perfect busy person mask is because it's just like the Aztec clay mask where it detoxifies your skin and it draws out impurities. However, if you've ever done that mask, you'll know that it actually requires like assembly. Like you have to make the mask, you have to make the perfect concoction and then apply it versus this. It's honestly just like ready to go and it's all there for you. All you do is just put it on your face, wait, and then wash it off. Now, also I wanted to mention that this mask is for those who want to detox their skin but have sensitive skin. So if you've tried the Aztec mask and you found that it's a little too harsh for your skin or if you've just been worried about trying it because you're like, well, I know it's like a pretty harsh mask and I have sensitive skin, highly recommend doing this mask. I do have a code with Timmy. I will leave it right over here and I will leave it in the description box below. But honestly, guys, I wouldn't be telling you about this if I didn't truly love it and use it. Like seriously, check out my Insta stories you'll see I'm using it all the time. The third little change that has made a huge impact in my overall health is sleeping in on weekends. Now during the week, I really make an effort to wake up between six or seven in the morning, either because I'm going for a walk or I am going to the gym or I need to get my day started early because I do start work at eight. So I do like to kind of get some stuff out of the way before I start work. But by the time Friday rolls around, I am exhausted. And Alex and I have really found that since we've started sleeping in on weekends and trying not to plan stuff in the morning on weekends, it has really helped us feel well rested and feel more relaxed and help us recharge for the next week and kind of give us that extra boost that we need to keep going for the next week. So we've really been putting in an effort this last year to just sleep in a little bit later, even if it's just an hour or two more. Those who need sleep, guys, you know, an hour or two more makes all the difference. And we've also actually been trying to have slower mornings on the weekends. So make breakfast together, drink our coffee together, and just have a slower paced morning because during the week, it's usually go, go, go. We don't really get to see each other, spend time together in the morning. So we definitely do value that on the weekends. The fourth change that I have made that has helped me health-wise is to listen to my body. Now, when I say listen to my body, I'm talking more about the health aspect of it, but you can honestly apply this in any way. So for me, that's just really being in tune with my body and really just focusing on what it likes, what it dislikes, what it functions well on, what it functions less well on, what it doesn't tolerate very well. Like I've really been putting in an effort to try to eat more organic, try to eat healthier, be conscious of my meals. On Instagram the other day, I talked about how working from home, I guess I get a lunch break, but like I usually have so much going on that like I can't take a long time for lunch and I'll either neglect lunch completely or I'll just grab something from the cupboard that's unhealthy and snack on it. When I realize like, hey, I'm at home, I literally have my entire kitchen with healthy food. Why am I not taking the time to make myself something healthy? So I did ask questions on Instagram and I got a ton of amazing responses on like quick lunch ideas. I also mentioned in my bloating video that my body doesn't do well on dairy, gluten or processed foods. So I'm not depriving myself of those foods because obviously it's really, really hard to completely eliminate them, but when I can make a healthy alternative, I do. So it's also just being conscious of when I'm grocery shopping, what should I be buying, what shouldn't I be buying, and stuff like that. And one thing that I realized is just because it's labeled healthy doesn't mean it's right for my body. And I found that with a lot of health food products, yes, they're healthy, yes, they're nutritious, but my body just doesn't tolerate them, my body doesn't like them, and that's totally fine. So if you have a food or supplement or something that everyone's saying it's super duper healthy, but it just, it's not working for you. That's totally fine. There's nothing wrong with that. There are other things that will work for you. And number five, the last one, and probably one of the most important ones, workouts that I actually enjoy. So if you are in a workout rut right now, stop what you're doing and switch it up. I can't believe I didn't think of this sooner. Like I like going to the gym, but if I go to the gym way too often, then I get bored and I don't like it anymore and I don't want to go. For me, I know that to keep my workout routine interesting and something that I enjoy, I do need to switch it up every once in a while. And so, for example, when 
quarantine was going on and nothing was open, I was doing at home workouts. I downloaded an app, but then I realized after two weeks that the workouts were getting super repetitive on the app and I was getting bored. So then I just started watching different like YouTubers or different athletes on YouTube doing workouts and I would switch it up in there. And then my wonderful friend Savannah actually would come over every single morning at 6.30 during the week and we would do a five kilometer walk before work started and get some fresh air and sunshine in and some steps in before the day started. Now that the gym opened, I do alternate gym with walking but she still does come to my house on Tuesday and Thursday at 6 30 so thank you Savannah for holding me accountable on the other days I do try to go to the gym and get a workout in or sometimes I'll just do stretches at home or not home workout and I really do want to kind of start adding more variety so I do want to start doing classes once that kind of opens up again I've always wanted to try kickboxing so that might be something that I'll give a try or even like signing up for a yoga studio like I love doing yoga but I've never actually done it at a studio before so maybe even doing that would really help I've talked about that, doing that a lot and I've never gotten around to it I don't know why but yeah so it's just really switching it up and finding new things that are interesting who knows you might even find like a new hobby by trying out a new class or a new sport anyways those are like the five little changes that I've made that have really helped me feel healthier and be healthier and like look at them they're all really little small changes nothing crazy nothing drastic but they're all really specific to me so these changes may not work for you but there may be other little changes and shifts that you can make in your lifestyle that will help you be healthier and if you do have any small little shifts that you have made please leave them down in the comments below i would love to hear them but that's all for today's video so if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up it really helps me and it really supports my channel subscribe hit the bell notification so you're notified every time i upload a new video follow me on instagram and leave me a comment down below let me know what changes you have made that have really made all the difference in your healthy lifestyle thanks so much for watching guys and know yourself know your body and until next time